Willie's got two timeouts, doesn't elect to take one here. Interesting. And here we go, it's McCollum. Pick and roll action, Nance. Inside, extends Holmgren, turns him back. Fifth block for the rookie sensation, Holmgren. And it's Williams against McCollum. Gilgis Alexander guarded by McCollum. Chisels into the paint, flicks it up and in. And contact. And even on that possession, what did they do? They forced the switch to get Jones off of Gilgis Alexander, and he's able to take advantage of that matchup and convert there with contact. 25-year-old Shea Gilgis Alexander, who has led this franchise renaissance in Oklahoma City, can give the Thunder a three-point lead with 32.5 left. Or you want the glory at this level, this is the time of the game where you got to put your team on your back. And that's exactly what Gilgis Alexander has done in dire need of a bucket. Here comes McCollum. Baseline fade, and he buries it. What a shot by McCollum, one point game. Yeah, and the advantage for the Pelicans, they have a timeout to give. Dort gets it to Holmgren in the corner, about a two second difference shot to game clock. 21 year old Chet Holmgren in his NBA playoff debut misses on the first. 79% free throw shooter during the regular season. One of two, it's a two point lead. And here we go, Jones the inbounds to McCollum. 10 seconds. Pelicans are out of timeouts. McCollum against Wallace, poked away. Four seconds. McCollum, the fake, the fire. No, and it's over. Oklahoma City survives. And hold on to take game one against the Pelicans. In a two-point thriller here in game one. And how about the defense of the young Jason Wallace down the stretch there. Got a deflection which allowed him to then dictate on that possession. You saw that deflection there. That then put him in a position where he could dictate defensively and then smart, smart heads up play not to foul there off that pump face. Look, as badly as this one is going to sting, if you're Willie Green, no Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, again, still trying to find his game after the 12 games that he missed with the Bone Blues. CJ McCollum with a potential game winner at the buzzer. But again, it's the psyche of these yeah. close losses in the playoffs. How do they bounce back in game two?